Hello there. Well, happy day here. I just got my copy of Eliminate Down. This is the retro bit release for the Sega Genesis, Sega Mega Drive. And I bought this with my own money. I got number 676 of 5,000. Now, one cool thing of note is that it comes with this awesome lenticular cover. That's right, Kitty, a lenticular cover. Yep, look at that. Very cool. So, Eliminate Down is a game by Soft Vision for the Sega Mega Drive that was released in Japan and it was released in Korea. And it's a pretty well thought after, very tough, very cool, very technically impressive shooter. However, there really wasn't a lot of copies made. So, the original run of it are crazy ridiculously expensive. So it's really cool to see Retrobit doing a physical release. So you got your standard Sega Mega Drive Genesis case, a instruction manual that is in Japanese and English, and a reversible inside cover, and then the actual cartridge. And if you take a look at that, it is slightly see-through. And on the back, you can actually see the board and it says eliminate down. So this is super cool. Um, this is actually a reprint, but since most people haven't played it, it might as well be new to you. So I'm gonna load this into my Hyperkin and give it a shot. All right, first thing that you notice is this awesome synthwave metal intro. Um, you don't see, you know, this This is actually a home release, not an arcade game, but they were really going for that arcade feel. Uh, the Sega Mega Drive was not that popular in Japan, but it was a real otaku, gamer otaku machine. And so the big thing was trying to bring the arcade action home. I got my Sega arcade stick that I'm going to be playing it with. And let's get going. It's a, a horizontal uh, spaceship shooter. You have three weapons that you can alternate between, between, and it's pretty tough. Let's see. I'm going to start with the default one, see if I can clear the first stage. So this is one of those games that does not give two rips about your feelings. Um, this is just, again, like less than a couple seconds of starting the game, and they're already throwing up with this ton of screen filling explosions and little baddies shooting missiles at you. Um, they, they clearly care not for your feelings, uh, except for feelings of terror. A uh, cool thing about this game is that when you, ah, so you start with three weapons, the back shot, the spread shot, and the uh, missiles, and when you power them up, you power them all up at the same time. So you have them from the get-go, and you can cycle through them. And they know this. They know that you have a back shot. They know that you have missiles and spread shot so they can just throw bad uh, projectiles at you um, because they know that you hopefully should have at least some of the weapons to handle it. Okay, got the space tapeworm. Now I'm sort of descending into the atmosphere. So this is a, sort of a take on Gradius, where there's, shoot, instead of uh, having the exploding volcano that you protect yourself with missiles, this is missiles that you shoot with missiles as you re-enter the atmosphere, or at least go down into the planet. Hmm. It'd be great if I get some power-ups before uh, the boss, but uh, let's see how that works out.
This is a shooter's shooter. Uh, people who love their shmups, I mean, this is a punch you in the various genitalia kind of shooter games. So if I don't have a lot of interesting commentary, it's because I'm trying not to die. Shoot! Ah! You die. Okay, I detached it from... Done with boss form one. So, shooting these slow seeker balls and also the horizontal blasts. Honestly, at this this phrase, I'm not even. I'm not that offensive, I'm just shooting and hopefully my shots are going to hit it. I'm more focused on trying to avoid the enemy's projectiles. Yes! Yes, kitty. I have completed the first stage. Round two. Okay, barrier shot or barrier shield. Again, those those dudes. Uh, this is one of those games that you have to play and memorize if you want to have a shot at survival. I think I made it to the third stage in my previous video. I did a preview video of this when I played this, uh, when they announced the pre-orders. I love Retrobit in that they, they make really cool stuff. However, um, I have absolutely no idea when you're gonna get it. And they, uh, the last, let's see, El Viento, um, and the other one that I pre-ordered, uh, they shipped them on the same day. So I, try, I was hoping to try and space them out. But, uh, let's see. Oh, it's the Hanukkah. It's the menorah of death. Remember this? A Chaim. Uh, I'm... Believe it or not, I wasn't that worried about the Hanukkah beams, more worried about the uh, little blue seeker dots. Candy that they're throwing from the Bima. So the dark blue um, asteroids, those are in the back. Those don't hurt you. It's the light ones that are in the foreground. Ah, shoot. All right, uh, made it this round two. I'm gonna use a continue because I'm about 10 minutes into this video. Barrier.
You know, this this is probably like the the typical thing is oh oh you you got uh, you're giving me some power ups. You're not gonna suddenly throw me into a boss or some serious stuff. Yep, yep, they are. So the fact that they give you a barrier shield 100% means that they're going to be throwing a lot of little projectiles at you. Pretty cool that the developers of this use the uh, Mega Drive slash Genesis power. Instead of to have big sprites, they have a bunch of little ones that move independently and move around. Try and jack you up. All right. Uh, uh. The Hanukkah Claws got me. Oh, get it, Hanukkah Claws. I did not intentionally even get to want to make a uh, holiday joke. This actually is a lot of fun with the arcade power stick. I really like having a arcade stick that you can sort of tap. Um, I really like the arcade power stick and if I ever find the six button variant uh, for a decent price, I'm totally gonna go for it. I mean, I have various six button controllers for the Genesis Flash Mega Drive. All right. I want to scratch my face, but I, can't, I really don't want to right now because I don't want to die. One more power up. Please give me one more power up. No. Come on. Those blue asteroids. Really? There's little alien space cra little space dudes. I mean, seriously, there, there's like five different kinds of projectiles coming after you at the same time. On top of that, the dark blue... Um, okay, whatever the heck this thing is. Oh, there's multiple little space guns. Thanks. I appreciate that. Oh, well, 12 minutes into it. So... This is 8-Bit Joystick. This is 8-Bit Joystick. Stay awesome. Play retro.